What's up, YouTube? Christopher. Wild Audio Barbarian. Whoa. Reflections. It's got a high, gl high gloss top. But this finish, which is called a raw top, is so cool. I kind of had to have it. This guitar has been out for a while, and I've seen it. And it, I, I think it's so cool looking. I love the shape. You know, it's a play on an SG, obviously. Um, just an amazing guitar. I got it today. I've literally played it for about mm, a half an hour or so. Tweaked it a tiny bit. Uh, all I did really was lower the, the uh, bridge a little tiny bit, and I mean a tiny bit. Uh, other than that, it's completely fresh out of the box. There's your headstock with the uh, Zach Wild W. It's got a bone nut. Let me see here. I have the specs on the screen behind my camera. It is a Graftech XL Ivory Tusk, or TUSQ. This guitar has a body. <laughs> Uh, what is it? A mahogany body, flame maple top, and it's a thin flame maple veneer uh, with the raw top finish, which I think is amazing. It's got a locking Tone Pros bridge setup, uh, which is really, really good for stability and keeping the, the tuning. Uh, I found a design flaw, however. Uh, the locks, which you probably won't be able to see through the video, maybe you can, but right there, there's a little bit of an Allen screw um, that you have to tighten. Now the problem is the space between the bridge pickup ring and that screw is tiny. You cannot fit an Allen wrench in between them. So... I had to get creative and bend the top of this. Uh, you got to heat it up and then bend it, otherwise it just breaks, uh, so that it would fit in between those two. Because the standard size, which is this, don't come close. So you have to improvise. So that's a design flaw right there um, that they didn't consider. And they should. I'm talking to you, Schechter. So, EMG pickups. This is the Zach Wild set. They sound pretty mighty. You got a three-way switch. Ooh. You got two volumes. Neck pickup, bridge pickup, and then you got a tone. Input jack here, football style. Uh, the back, this neck, by the way, uh, is about as thick as my leg. It's pretty huge. But... It's a remarkably comfortable huge, if that makes any sense. I fly on this neck for some reason. I guess Paul Gilbert and Zach Wild and like Phil Collin, those guys that are known for like these giant baseball bat necks, might be onto something. Because I picked this up and was like, whoa, <laughs> big neck. But I find that I can play really fast on it, which is interesting. So really cool thing in the back here. Uh, they also put a flame maple back on the mahogany which is pretty neat huge electronics cavity uh so you know the batteries in there which kind of is a pain in the butt so you got to take that whole cavity plate off to change your battery so there's no fast battery change i'm not sure if you can see the delineation on the neck but it is a three-piece maple neck uh and it's a satin finish on the back all the way up to here where it turns to gloss uh, which is cool. I like that they do that. Um, interesting that they painted the back of the headstock. I'm not sure why they did it, but they did. It's got Grover tuners in the back, non-locking, uh, which may change in the future. I don't know. Uh, but non-locking set of Grover tuners on there right now. Um, fantastic guitar. It's got a nice binding all around the neck. The frets are perfect right out of the box. There's no sharp ends at all. They're all very rounded over not sure if you'll be able to see it in the video or not but very rounded over fret ends giant abalone inlays which are just amazing uh it's a fantastic guitar 
it has a little bit, if you see that, you let go, the neck wants to go. If I had a nylon strap or you know something that was slippery, this guitar would constantly be dipping because it is very neck heavy. So what I've done to counter that is just use the sticky leather. You know, the bottom side is, is it sticks to your shirt. So the guitar kind of stays put, you know, when you let go. Um, that's one way to combat neck dive. Uh, but NESG is known for that kind of issue. Uh, it's tough to combat, but leather strap to the rescue. So amazing guitar, let's hear it. So I know right now my tone is on the heavy setting and I should change that to clean for you. Yep. So again, I'm going through uh, my Scarlet 4i4 interface uh, straight into Reaper where I am using the Pelini or Pelini people. Oh, why do you call it Pelini? It's Pelini. Uh, the Pelini uh, Neural DSP plugin I'm using for the cleans and the mid gain. The high gain tone, however, I'm using the new uh, Amped Roots, which is Fluff's uh, plugin. Fluff is a great guy. His channel is amazing. Uh, I've been a subscriber of his for quite some time. I like his content. He's a funny dude. Uh, I enjoy watching his stuff. And I gotta tell you, his plugin slays. It's real good. And I've only got the free version. I didn't buy the, the license. But it's incredible. And that's what I'm using for my, um, my heavy tones. So let's enable the clean sounds here and go through it. So clean tones, bridge pickup. Here we go. A little bit of reverb on there. I know people s complain, you use too much effects. which is both pickups. Thank you. 
Sounds great. That's the cleans. Let's go to some mid gain. Again, this is the Pliny uh, VST. <laughs> It's a Zach Wilde guitar, you can do pinch harmonics. <laughs> Thank you. 
should make mention as well that these volume knobs are quite smooth. Uh, there's very little friction to them. Some people are turned off by that. I personally prefer it because you can adjust your volume very quickly on the fly. And they're all the same, like they all move the same. The tone knob's a little tiny bit stiffer, which who cares, I don't use a tone knob ever. Uh, but volume knobs, awesome, they move really smoothly. The only thing that I would prefer to have had on these is the rubber grommet around the outside, just to give it a little more grip. Because uh, these things, if you get sweaty hands and you're trying to turn that down, it's like whoosh, you're flying right off of it because it's too smooth. So. Lost track of myself. Bridge pickup still. Middle position. fun guitar this thing plays amazing uh is it worth the price i think so uh the weight of this guitar is pretty good it's not super heavy it's definitely not light um but it's not super heavy um i kind of expected it to be because it's a pretty thick body that body's fat uh maybe a good candidate for a uh, evertune bridge hmm. i don't know that'd be pretty cool i think um yeah, that'd be really cool. Hmm, that's got me thinking. Evertune Bridge, some locking tuners. Maybe. Uh, awesome guitar. I can't complain at all. The neck is super, super smooth. Um, awesome. The only thing that I might have wanted, and I, I'll just put them on myself, uh, if I don't put locking tuners on it, I probably will, uh, but a, a larger button on this because it's... It's on an angle. So anything that's on an angle has a potential for your strap to come off in one way. Uh, the one on the back is not, not a huge problem, but it is on the back. Um, so it's going this way. So your strap has a tendency to pull away, you know, on the back. Same thing on the top, I guess, but um, it twists on the top. So it kind of helps itself stay on, if that makes any sense. Probably not. But if you had an oversized button, be a really good bonus. Um, but strap locks, they're probably in my future. I love this guitar. I can't say enough about it. It's its really, really good. Uh, I was, was not expecting much of it. Uh, I really wasn't sure if it was going to be a keeper or not, but I think it might be. This thing's pretty badass. So do yourself a favor, plug one in, try it out for yourself. And then you can leave me a, a, a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, check them out. I dig it, man. This is the uh, Zach Wild Barbarian Raw Top. Very cool. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Uh, regular frets, not stainless. Ebony fretboard, by the way, if I didn't say that already. I don't think I did. Uh, dual action truss rod. 
Um, fantastic guitar. I dig it a lot. See you guys in the next video. Peace. That's me reaching for the stop button.